Pell Am moving a huge step forward in its plans to get a desal plant. But as one coastal commissioner said, we don't know if a shovel will ever turn on this project. I think it was a sad day for environmental justice. I think it was a sad day for the Coastal Commission. I think it was a sad day for our region. I am very relieved, very excited. Uh, I, I, part of me wanted to just stay home today and, and celebrate, but, but uh, it, it's, a, it's a big deal. There's still a lot of work to be done. Mixed reaction Friday following Thursday's late night decision by the California Coastal Commission to grant Cal Am Water a development permit for their desal plant in Marina. Cal Am wants it up and running in five years, but the Coastal Commission just one step in a long process. They still have to go to the CPUC, the State Water Board has a proceeding, there are lawsuits, there are a lot of uh, uh, hoops that the Cal AM uh, folks are going to have to jump through before they can get this project up and running. One of those lawsuits filed by the city of Marina, the project's biggest opponent. They won't get any water from the project, but yet stand to see the potential environmental impacts. I see the Cal AM ratepayers trying to buy them out next year, and I see the city of Marina trying to protect all of our community values that are at risk. Also chiming in the day after the controversial vote, the Monterey Peninsula Water Management District, which opposed the desal project in favor of the more environmentally friendly Pure Monterey Water Expansion Project. I think everybody's better off because we've got more options right now, but I don't think we've got anything more than a bunch of conditions that are gonna be difficult to meet. Uh, many of them will have opposition. The chair of the Coastal Commission using those words to describe the division the project has created between the water company and the community. She said more than ever, regional leaders and Cal Am need to work together to solve its water shortage. And we've worked with the community, we've reached out, and uh, we look forward to now that we've been approved, we, we hope that they will come to the table with us and, 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 and we're more than happy to work with them. As you heard, there are still plans for a public buyout of Cal Am. An update on that today. Appraisals are currently being done of Cal Am and its water system. The Monterey Peninsula Water Management District expected to have those appraisals by February, at which time it will be prepared to make Cal Am an offer. But Cal Am, is, Cal -Am has made it very clear they are not for sale and will fight any public takeover.